The Crisp Memorial Chase is next. It's a three run on 0 to 100. And at the top, we've got Piazza del Duomo for Martellinum, Surrey Montekin, Alex Cherry, York Hill, Daniel French, Cozy Crusader for Derek Hinton, Rab Corbett, Alex Cherry, Marmol Crossing, Matt Cooper, Weaver of Dreams, Matt Cooper, Artufo, Stu Gray, Dock of the Bay, Most, Thomas Rogers, and Spree in it, Thomas Rogers. Uh, nice to see we've got the correct silk back for these last two races, or well, presumably with the last two, it's only this one anyway. And they're away and racing. And Marmol crossing and Rab Corbett. And quickly up towards the lead with our two foe as they go past the winning post with I would think three complete circuits to go. If we're on the same track as we were before, which I'm pretty sure we are. And Rab Corbett's in the lead. Our two foe on the inside, Marmol crossing on the outside, and and a bit of a gap to York Hill, so let's hope they don't get dizzy. Uh, you know, three, and a, three times around the seven and a half furlong track as they get over the next. Pretty sure the next race is a four mile or so. Maybe that's somewhere else, otherwise, it'd be ridiculous. We go around here all day. Anyway, it's our two foe in the lead. Um, Rab Corbett in second, then Marmol Crossing and York Hill. And the gap to Piazza del Duomo and Weaver of Dreams as they get over the next. And coming to the third. Which they're all safely over. And the leading four have opened up a decent sized lead over the rest of them. At this point, a Rab Corbett. In the orange leaves for Alex Cherry, our two foe on the inside for Stu Gray. In Marmol Crossing in the red for, for Matt Cooper. York Hill, just behind that one in fourth. I'm not sure whether that's Daniel French or Paul Rose, to be fair, as they get over the next. And there's a gap to Weaver of Dreams. Another Matt Cooper, or Spree and left for Thomas Rogers. Piazza del Duomo in the old red rum colours for your commentator. And then on the inside of that one, Cozy Crusader for Derek Hinton in the many cloud silks. Next to that one, a second Alex Cherry Horse, Surrey Montekin, and finally on the outside, the second Thomas Rogers Horse in the green. He is Dock of the Bay most. So past the winning post they go. We go around another two times. And our Chufo. He's in the front, leading by about a length and a half to Rap Corbett in second. And Marmol crossing in third, and then gap, to, gap back to York Hill, and then we were of Dreams and Piazza del Duomo. And our two folk are set in the base. I've seen all that many front runners for Stu. Did a good job in the Grand National yesterday as they get over that one, and a mistake by Matt Cooper's Marmol crossing. With this ditch they go, they're all safely over that one. With Dock of the Bay most just the back marker. And our Tufo continues to lead from Rab Corbett. Who I always want to call Rab Nisbet. Don't know why. Then the Marmol Crossing and York Hill. Weaver of Dreams, Piazza del Duomo on the inside. And Spree and Litton, Cozy Crusader. Finally, Dock of the Bay most and Surrey Montekin as they get over the next. Again, they all jump well. And our two folk continues to lead into number 10. Oh, a mistake there by Cozy Crusader. I've seen that one drop to the back. The winning post again they go, just one more circuit to go now. And our Tufo is the leader. From Marmol crossing and then Rab Corbett and then Piazza del Duomo getting closer. York Hill on the inside. Weaver of Dreams. Dock of the Bay most is also making a bit of a forward move around the outside. And the field is 
nicely grouped. The jockey on our two foe just had a little look around to see how far in front he was. He's not that far. Two lengths. He's got over Marmore Crossing. York Hill's in third. Piazza del Duomo's in fourth in Rab Corbett. And Spree Inlet, Knock of the Bay most. After that. Got four to go. This is the four from home. And our two foe. Is in the lead, but Piazza del Duomo is trying to get closer in second. On the outside, Dock of the Bay Most has now moved through into third, and over that one they go, and Dock of the Bay Most moved into second as Piazza del Duomo jumped it slowly, but it's Artufo who's still the leader, two to jump. Artufo in front being chased now by Dock of the Bay Most. Then comes Cozy Crusader who's come through from the back, then Piazza del Duomo running on again, then Rab Corbett, Marmol Crossings after that one, but it's probably between the front two, although the two behind could have something to say about that. Dock of the Bay Most is two lengths clear now as Artufo starts to tire. Cozy Crusader goes up the inside. Piazza del Duomo going round the outside. There's only one more to take and a furlong and a half to go. And Dock of the Bay Most is the leader. From in second place now, Piazza del Duomo going past Artufo. Cozy Crusader between the two of them. They come down to the last. A good jump. We'll see it for Dock of the Bay Most. He's over it nicely. The rest of them jumped it slowly. And this is going to be a win for Thomas Rogers, I think, because Dock of the Bay Most is clear. They're faster from the back, well, they're not going to get anywhere near him. Dock of the Bay Most is going to take this one pretty comfortably. Dock of the Bay Most wins it from Cozy Crusader, then We Real Dreams, and our two foe was after that one. York Hill ended up last. Dock of the Bay Most takes it for Thomas Rogers. I'm guessing that's one that was named by the computer. Cozy Crusader second, Weaver of Dreams third.